What's up everybody, Supreme Decisions here, and yes, I am at a beautiful lake out here in surprisingly sunny Georgia, and yeah, I don't know the name of the city I'm in, in Georgia, but I'm in Georgia, That's that should blow your mind right there, because and the scenery is beautiful, it is weirdly hot in November, anyway. Today, what I want to bring to you is something that I've only used maybe twice, but it's something that I use in a different way, and it's something I'm going to relay to you today, and this is going to work as part A of this conversation, because today, we're going to talk about a bill of particulars. What happens is a lot of times we're brought up in front of a judge and the first thing they ask you is, how do you plead? Well, one of the things that you go through is the fact that how do I offer a pleading when I have no idea what is the charges that are actually against me? So one of the ways you can actually formally state that without actually verbally stating that at that moment is the bill of particulars because a bill of particulars is a detailed formal written statement of charges or allegation set against you released by the plaintiff some cases in criminal acts it will be against the, from the prosecutor in civil acts it will be against the alleged person that said you did something and either way, it's just for you to have a better understanding of what it is that is being brought against you. So you don't have to come up with all these crazy ideas of, I have no idea what it is you're saying to me. That also eliminates later charges. Keep that in mind because there are instances where charges will be brought up later. And this is actually something that's more often used not in state court, but federal court and for the most part it's used in the midst of discovery or one of the things that I'm going to go over which I actually have done a video on just haven't edited it on what they call an omnibus motion which is a list of motions actually a bunch of motions that are set in one so instead of doing it you know in several different instances it's one largely combined motion and the great part about this, this is something that I'm going to give you to weaponize it in state court in a few of you states. Mostly, get ready, Illinois. This is for you. So that's all I got for right now. Part B is coming up next, probably on tomorrow. Manana. Anyway, so be on the lookout for it. Going to drop at the same time. So continue to support the channel. Continue to support the podcast. 99 cents, 499, and also Apple Pay. If you want to send it, it's as easy as sending a text message through your Apple phone. Grab your t-shirts, hoodies drop next week. And Supreme, out.